April are fired up about a weapons policy at the Lander Center. Thanks for joining us. I'm Katina Rankin. Richard has the night off. Currently, the venue says anyone not working security at a sporting game needs an empty holster. But an elected official is among those who disagree when that person is an off-duty officer. Local 24 news reporter Rebecca Butcher is in South Haven with tonight's top story. Well, the Lander Center was very clear on its firearms policy during Memphis Hustle games. Like the one happening tonight, they're not allowed inside at all. But a state representative says that should only apply to citizens, not uniformed officers. Uh, he was told he either had to hand over his weapon, which you know police officers are going to do, or he had to leave the event. And he did leave that Memphis Hustle game going on this past Wednesday. The Lander Center says the officer worked at Northwest Community College. He's trained to, to use a weapon. Like, that's just part of his job. And so he's going to keep someone like me safe if... if He's going to keep my kids safe. State Representative Dana Criswell shared this post online captioned, No Police Allowed, grabbing people's attention. The venue's executive director tells me they are contractually bound to restrict weapons. We have a private entity, uh, the Memphis Hustle, Memphis Grizzlies, the NBA, who has a, uh, a, a leasey agreement with, with us, um, and they stayed in there. No firearms. Chris Wells says it's a step too far when that applies to an officer and violates federal law. When it extends so far as to a police officer in uniform, whoever's policy it is, whether it's Lander Center, whether it's who they're renting it to, I believe the people of DeSoto County have just said that's enough. DeSoto County voted Tuesday to become a Second Amendment safe haven, the same as sanctuaries now sweeping across counties in the U.S. It says county funds won't be used to restrict the constitutional right to bear arms. Don't be fooled that that's what this is about. And Mastry says at public county events like graduations, weapons are allowed in. In DeSoto County, Mississippi, Rebecca Butcher Local 24 News.